Hello everybody, my name is Chris Roth and I'm here with fellow Visio MVP and fellow Visio book author Scott Helmers who's here to show us about the new flowcharting enhancements in Visio 2010. Now Scott, as I understand it, there's quite a few new things for flowcharters out there. That's, that's absolutely true, Chris. In fact, some of the coolest features in Visio are the visual feedback and en uh, enhancements that you get as you're creating a drawing. So let's do that. Let's start a new flowchart right now. I'm going to drag a start shape onto the page. And next I drag a process block. Now, nothing new so far, but watch what happens now. Notice that orange line that appears. Mm -hmm. That helps me know before I even drop the shape, whether it's aligned with the top, the center, or the bottom of an existing shape on the page. And that feedback works both horizontally and vertically, as you can see as I move this shape around. Now, I'm going to drop it right there bring another process shape onto the page, and not only do I get that same feedback, but notice the double-headed arrows that have now appeared. And as I move this shape left and right, when those arrows appear, that indicates that Visio is telling me the spacing between pairs of shapes is identical wherever those double-headed arrows are located. So that's one enhancement. Another is the auto-connect feature. Now, actually, this was introduced in Visio 2007. These little blue triangles allow me to click and shoot a connector from shape to shape across the page. So I don't have to go drag anything. I don't have to do anything other than click once on the little blue triangle. Even better than that, in Visio 2010, if I hover for just a second over that blue triangle, notice the little mini toolbar that appears that gives me four different shapes, and including live preview. So I can say, okay, what I'd really like to do is add a decision diamond. I don't have to go back to the stencil. It's added for me. Right now, I can do the same thing below the di diamond and add a process block and do the same thing over to the right. Now, the items on that quick shape menu are selected for each stencil, and they actually, you can tell where they're, which ones are going to be the quick shapes because they appear above this little gray line that you can see, in this case, below the document and data shapes in the stencil. Another enhancement allows me to add and remove shapes very easily. For example, I'm going to bring a subprocess shape over, and notice that the, the feedback, the red that lights up at each end of this link, shows me that I'm going to drop this shape in between. And if you notice, Visio moved the shapes over to the right so that it made space for this new shape. That's the auto add feature. That'll save a lot of time. Absolutely does. And the same thing works, by the way, in the vertical dimension. If I drop a shape on top of a vertical line, then shapes are moved down to accommodate that new shape. The auto delete, sort of the flip side of that coin, happens when I delete a shape that's connected on both sides. Now watch what happens when I press the delete key. That shape disappears, and there's a self-healing process that connects the line in between from the old shape on the left to the old shape on the right. The, new, the shape in the middle is gone. So that's a very handy set of features that allow me to create flowcharts more quickly. Well, Scott, that's some pretty cool stuff for flowcharters. I think that's going to save people a lot of time, especially inserting yep. the shapes. Uh, my question is that I've only seen flowcharting. I know a lot of other customers do workflow, di workflow diagrams and cross-functional flowcharts or swim lane diagrams. That's right. Do these features apply there too? Absolutely, both right. for swim lanes and for other types of connected drawings. Right. So at the moment, I'm pressing Control F6 to switch to another window <laughs> in Visio where I happen to have a, a swim lane chart that I'm starting here. I'm going to start by adding a start shape. And notice that I get the same enhanced dynamic feedback, so those orange lines appear to help me get things aligned the way I want them first without having to move them later. So I can make those shapes be where I want them to be. I can still use the auto connect arrow to fire dynamic connectors across from sh shape to shape. The quick shapes menu also works, so I can add a decision diamond here, for example. I can add a process block to the right. And I can even add shapes across lanes. So notice the quick shapes menu. I'm going to shoot a process block down into the second uh, swim lane, the second function line. I can also use auto add. So for example, I want to, if I want to add a decision diamond in between these shapes, watch to the right. Visio moves everything over. Another important aspect of the new swim lane structure in Visio 2010 is that it was completely redesigned to take advantage of a, of a 2010 feature called containers. The important thing is that a container is an object that has other items contained within it. The container knows about those items, and those items inside the container know that they're contained. We can see evidence of that this way. Let me go back to this upper swim lane, and first thing I'm going to do is change the word function here to a real function. So let's say this upper swim lane is about sales, and I'm going to put marketing for the lower one. Now to see evidence of 
what this has, what effect this has on the shapes, let me open the shape data window. And if I click on a shape in the sales lane, notice the function data field has a value of sales. If I click on the one that's in the marketing lane, it says marketing. And this is updated dynamically. So if I choose a shape that's in the sales lane and I drag it down into the marketing lane, that value is instantly updated. So it makes it much easier to create charts that understand what's what within the chart and lets you build a more effective swim lane diagram. That's pretty cool, Scott. Thanks for showing us. Sure. So people, if you've just upgraded to Visio 2010, you'll want to be on the lookout for little blue triangles and little orange lines because they're going to make your flow charting life much easier. Thanks for showing us that, Scott. Great. Thank you, Chris.